kids, it's Captain Kate here. I hope you had a great week. I'm so glad you're joining us today. Parents, don't forget to check the church website or your email inbox for weekly kids resources that go along with the Kids Zone at Home videos. Let's get started with our Kids Zone at Home video with some music. Come on, clap your hands. Here we go. That's it. All right, guys, Mr. T is going to help us with our Bible memory verse. But first, let's practice the words so that you can sing along. Our verse is Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 and 9. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one can boast. Okay, Mr. T, hit it. Are you ready, kids? Let's do it. For by grace you have been saved through faith. It is not your own doing. It is the gift of God and not a result of works so that no one may boast. You ready for the chorus? For saving me, it was nothing that I did. Amazing grace you have given me. I could never, ever, 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 ever earn it. Just want to do that one more time. 
for by grace you have been saved through faith. It is not your own doing. It is the gift of God and not a result of works so that no one may boast. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. It was nothing that I did. Amazing grace you have given me. I could never, ever, 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 ever earn it. Let's take that. I could never, ever, 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 ever earn it. One more time. I could never, ever, 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 ever earn it. Yeah! Have you ever received a present before? I have, I have. Oh, hey Shelby, is that the present right there? Yeah, Miss Bobby just gave me a surprise present. Oh, wow. Did you have to pay for it? No, you don't have to pay for presents. Oh, then did you have to do something for it? No, you don't have to do anything for presents either. It's oh. just a gift. Oh, so a gift is something you don't have to pay for, it's free, and you don't have to do anything to get it either? Yeah, you just get to open it. That's the best part. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Miss Bobby must really love you. Thanks for sharing all that with me, Shelby. You're welcome. Well, now Miss Bryn is going to read us a story about some kids just like you who taught some people to receive a gift just like Shelby taught me. Hi Kids Zone Kids, this is Miss Bryn here, and I am really excited because this week I get to be the one to read your Bible story to you. So if you have the Jesus Storybook Bible, go ahead and take that out. This week, we are going to be on page 256, and we're going to be reading a story called The Friend of Little Children. Jesus' friends were arguing. Who was the most important helper in God's kingdom? They wanted to know. I am, James said. No, you're not, said Peter. I am. Nonsense, Matthew said. I am the cleverest. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Yes, no, am too. This silliness went on and on like that for some time. You see, Jesus' friends had started thinking that they had to do something to make themselves special to Jesus. That if they were the cleverest or the nicest or something, Jesus would like them the best. But they had forgotten something. Something God had been teaching his people all through the years. That no matter how clever you are, or how good you are, or how rich you are, or how nice you are, or how important you are, none of it makes any difference. Because God's love is a gift. And as anyone will tell you, the whole thing about a gift is, it's free. All you have to do is reach out your hands and take it. So while Jesus' friends were arguing, some people who knew all about getting gifts, in fact, you might say they were gift experts, had come to see Jesus. Who were they? They were little children. Jesus' helpers tried to send them away. Jesus doesn't have time for you, they said. He's too tired. But they were wrong. Jesus always had time for children. Don't ever send them away, Jesus said. Bring the little ones to me. Now, if you had been there, what do you think would you have had to line up quietly to see Jesus? Do you think Jesus would have asked you how good you've been before he'd give you a hug? Would you have had to be on your best behavior and get dressed up and not speak until you're spoken to? Or would you have done just what these little children did? Run straight up to Jesus and let him pick you up in his arms and swing you and kiss you and hug you and sit you on his lap and listen to your stories and your chats. You see, children loved Jesus, and they knew they didn't need to do anything special for Jesus to love them. All they needed to do was to run into his arms, and so that's just what they did. Well, after all the laughing and games, Jesus turned to his helpers and said, No matter how big you grow, never grow up so much that you lose your child's heart, full of trust in God. Be like these children. They are the most important in my kingdom. I really enjoyed reading your story to you this week, kids. I hope you're having a great summer, and I miss you all, and I can't wait until we're back in Kids Zone together. Bye. Okay, boys and girls, it's memory verse time. 
Okay, let's practice our Bible memory verse again. Do you think you can say it with me? Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. For it is by grace you have been saved, through faith. And this is not your own doing, it is the gift of God. Not a result of works, so that no one may boast. The word grace means something that you get, that you didn't earn or pay for. Like a gift. And the best gift we will ever receive is Jesus. God sent him to us because he loves us. And we don't have to do anything special to go to Jesus. When you trust in him, he'll always be with you. Will you join me now? We can go and pray and thank him for loving us so much and being such a good father. Father, your love is amazing. Thank you for loving us. Even while we are still your enemies, you sent your son, Jesus, as a perfect gift because of your great love for us. All we need to do is believe in him and receive your gift of grace through faith in him. And we get to experience all your goodness and kindness. You are such a good and loving father. Thank you for loving us so much. Amen. I look forward to doing that again next week. Parents, don't forget. There is a kids resource link right below the Sunday morning live stream on our website. Have a wonderful week. of God, for it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and it's not from yourselves, it is the gift of God, it is the gift of God. the gift of God.